What is up guys, Scarp80 here, and today I am bringing you a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of rupees in Breath of the Wild when you're still a beginner. So let's get started. I'm also going to show you how to get a Fire Sword and uh, and uh, everything you need to get the uh, the, 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 the rupees, alright? So, yeah, you're going to need a Flame Blade. And uh, this is where you get it. You need to go to this stable right here near your big twin bridge. And uh, down Hickley Woods is where we're going to find the bridge. Uh, I mean, the thing. So, uh, you need to go to this shrine. I mean, to this uh, shrine. Yeah, Hadamar, which is a Dueling Peak stable. And uh, there, we're going to activate a side quest, which is going to lead us to this. Now, it's going to ask you to pay a couple of rupees. But since you are watching this video, you don't need to because I will tell you what uh, you need um, to do to get this flame blade so uh, I am going to uh, show you this right now and if you already have a flame blade then uh, you can just fast forward a little bit in this video um, and I'll show you how to get the warm doublet which I'm uh, you also need for this and if you already have that as well then uh, you can fast forward even more until I show you how to get the actual ruby. So you're going to go into the Dueling Peaks table, we'll talk to these guys, and uh, you don't really have to because I'm going to tell you this, but, you know, um, they're going to say all of that stuff, and uh, they're looking for a treasure, and they want me to pay them for the treasure so that uh, I do that, and they would want me to pay me, I mean, 100 rupees. And uh, then they say 1,000 rupees, so, I mean, I'm not sure which one they meant, but still, I think it was a hundred. But yeah, I mean, you don't need to pay a hundred, and I could get some, like, a good amount of arrows for that. So I'm not gonna do it. But what you need to do is head out of the shrine, and we're gonna go to Big Twin Bridge, and then before crossing this bridge, we're just gonna go. Like, you can't cross it, but you know, I chose not to for, you know, not not really a good reason. Um, but yeah, you just have to follow that path all the way to the back of that river. And uh, then we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to get the flame blade. So let's speed this up. And uh, again, I'm using the whistle while running trick, which is uh, something you can do to, uh, something you can do so that you run and not use your stamina up. So yeah, that's just something that you can do. And uh, we're just going to go along with this river, I think, in a second. It might, if you're trying to go through this side, if you have climbing gear, then it would be a good idea to equip it, but then I'm going to just change to the other side because it is much easier. On the left side of the woods, there is a, like, mini boss, I guess you'd call it. I think it's like a, a skeleton, like a giant skeleton thing, which uh, I, I'm not going to spoil if you want to go fight it right now. I am not going to do that for the purposes of this video, and I have not fought it because I didn't know while I was uh, doing this, so yeah. Uh, we're just gonna go over here follow the river and you're gonna see that rock over there And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go along the left side of the river and there are some rocks there And all you need to do is climb them and go to the other rock uh, Keep going. That's the waterfall and by the way, you can't use your Zor armor to go up it I tried it and we are gonna have to climb but yeah, you're gonna have to go over there um, and there, you're going to see a bunch of silent shrooms up top to where we're going to go. You're also going to find a bunch of silent shrooms. I decided to show you how to get this Korok seed because, you know, you're already here, so you might as well get it. And now it's raining. Yeah, I know. It started to rain, which is really bad luck because we were supposed to climb this. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. If it is raining, then you're going to have to either come back some other time or just not do this. I mean, or just try and wait it out, because look what happens if you try and climb, then you're going to slip, and you're not going to make it very far, even though I tried just to show it, but yeah, you know, not, not I guess not enough stamina. I mean, look at this frog. All it does is swim from the right side of the river to the left side. Now you're going to see it's going to it's gonna just hit that, and then go back to the, well, it went a little bit back, but just watch. Just give me a second, just watch. Look, it's going to go... Give me a second, all right, I pro yeah, you see, it goes to the right, it's done this like 10 times, it just, it goes to the right side, and then it hits the bank, and then comes back to the left side, hits the thing, maybe does a twirl like right now, and then it goes back to the right side, it's just, it's, why? So, uh, 
How long have you been under that rock? Alright, now that it has stopped raining, you're going to go to the right side of the river and just start climbing uh, up to the top. And uh, you'll know when, when to stop. You'll see a bunch of silent shrooms that I said before. There is a lot of them. And then guarded by one silent shroom are these rocks that you can easily destroy with one of your remote bombs. So you just place your remote bomb down, go to the right, and boom, blown up. So inside, you're going to, well, first, first let's enjoy the view, all right? You're going to find a luminous stone, sapphire, amber, opal, and some toasty, hearty truffles along with this spear thing. And you can play Donkey Kong with these barrels, but no flame blade, so just destroy those rocks over there. And then you'll see another chest over there that has indeed the flame blade, uh, which is pretty good. So now, let's move on to how to get the... Um, the warm doublet so you want to head to Hatino village and uh, go to this shop that sells armor you're gonna go in and uh, once you're in there you'll see a bunch of other cool stuff that you can buy like the hillian tunic and like the armor but what you want to get is the warm doublet and uh, you'll be all set so once you've got that we're gonna start at central hyrule this is like the main tower i think uh, and so what you want to do from there is you want to go over there to like the northwest region so we're gonna t you can take this path right here or you can just go straight whatever you want and uh, we're gonna try and get to the section of Ridgeland Tower if you don't want to go through Ridgeland Tower because it is hard to get through as there are several monsters near it you can just take the path that's to the side uh, however I chose to do it because uh, I felt like I wanted like I wanted the map but yeah you can just go to the side and it'll be the same thing you can still get to the destination um, and uh, yeah once you're there it'll be near Solari, Solari, Solari Plain there'll be uh, a stable so you can take your horse from there you, you could have taken your horse the whole, the whole way it really doesn't matter um, so you can just go around through the path and then go to this other stable, the snowfield stable. You can drop your horse off there, or you can just take your horse to this tower, which is Hebra Tower, and that is where you want to go. All right. And I know if some of you have already seen that the way is Pondo's Lodge, um, just stick around because I have a method that I think can help you a lot. So this is Richland Tower, and these are just the mobs that, uh, not the mobs, the uh, the monsters that uh, are around it. So there's three of those like weird witch thingies with the electric shocker things plus a couple of loose follows but I did I personally didn't fight them because I wasn't ready and what I did is I just without falling this is just me trying to do it again but the first time I did it I didn't fall right now I placed the ice cubes like way too far apart but yeah you, if you can do this quick enough and don't place the ice cubes that far apart you can actually sneak onto this tower but yeah once you're at Richland Tower again, you can take the path that's to the right or actually get the map from Richland Tower. You want to take that same path and get to Hebra Tower. Once you're there, you're going to need to equip your warm doublet or else you'll freeze to death and your flame blade. All right, if you don't have your flame blade or the warm doublet, um, this isn't going to work unless you eat some food that that makes your cold resistance better. But I would recommend doing the method that I'm showing you right now because... Uh, if you're going to be doing this for a while, it's going to be more expensive to uh, spend up all your food on this. So yeah, as you can see, here is my horse that I have left here for like three days. I'm not kidding. Like In real life, that thing would have died already. So as you can see, there are these icebergs things like around the tower that you can't really get through without taking these down. So you can use some fire arrows against them or use your flame blade. But what I found best... Um, a, a fire arrow works works pretty good, but if you use a fire, it will also shrink it down a good amount. Um, so that's what I would recommend, and that's just placing wood down in a flint and hitting the flint with a metal sword. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you want to head back to Hebra Tower and point the direction of Death Mountain, which is that volcano. Then what you want to do is just use your paraglider and paraglide down. And uh, once you're down there, I went up again because I wanted to... Uh, uh, shield board down or snowboard but like shield oh snow shield down the mountain there we go and you're gonna get to pondo's lodge once you're here at pondo's lodge all you have to do is talk to this dude and really he should be named pundo because he has so many puns and i know i just made a pun about him making puns and that oh. wasn't that but still all right so he's gonna tell you to do to play bowling with a giant thing um 
and he'll give you 300 rupees if you get a strike. So what you need to do is lock onto him, make sure that there is an orange arrow. Make sure that uh, what I am doing right here is I line myself up so that my arms were, looked like they were coming out of his shoulders. And then you take a step to the left. And as you can see right there, I just got a strike. And I'm going to show you a couple more strikes that I'm going to do. So yeah, wow, all 10 pins, there's a strike. And here is going to give me 300 rupees for that. And if you don't, if you get a spare, he'll give you 100. 9 pins, he'll give you uh, 50. And then 8 and 7, he'll give you 20. And below 7, he won't give you anything. So again, I lined up behind him. I uh, made sure that my arms looked like they were coming out of his shoulders and took a step to the left press the a button to let it go and uh i got a strike that one pin that like stood up is the one that causes the most trouble so again i changed the camera view but that doesn't really matter as long as you're already lined up and then you're gonna awkwardly stare at pondo until uh, the ball rolls down for some reason um but yeah again another strike and these were all in a row after the pass that just came out uh, it's a bit harder, but still, line up with Pondo, arms coming out of his shoulders, take a step to the left, the thing will go back, and then we'll come back around, and then it'll go down, and it'll get you a strike. So yeah, it's a really effective way, um, and of course, there is a little bit of luck involved, but mostly it's skill. Um, also, you, if you go into Pondo's Lodge, you'll find some a fire, a bet, and what? What is this? Pondo. What? All right, if, as long as if as long as it's to keep you warm, it's okay. All right, Pondo, I don't want you getting drunk while I'm trying to snow, snow wool. Uh, but yeah, you can sleep on the bed and replenish your hearts if uh, if you don't want to get the warm doublet or the flame blade or drink any elixir. Uh, you can just once you're low on hearts, come to the bed and sleep, and then you know just do that process over again. But I mean, that's a bit tiring. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was quick and it was it was like long, but there was a lot of information in it. So it was 12 minutes, but it was a, long, a lot of information in it. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I showed you how to get the flame blade, the warm doublet, and uh, how to farm rupees. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you want to watch more videos that are made by me. And uh, if you do, just click the videos that are on the screen right now. But yeah, once again, Scarp80 out.